to the Luke's Properties podcast. If you're watching on YouTube, then welcome. If you're listening on audio, then welcome to you too. In this insightful episode, I'll be talking to one of my success students, Esther. We started working with Esther over a year ago, and when she came to us, she was a full-time nurse. Since then, she's worked her way through our rent-to-rent program and taken on some rent-to-rent deals of her own. And today, she's a full-time property entrepreneur. So for all of you aspiring rent-to-renters, this episode's for you. And without further ado, let's get into it. I'm getting into reading now, so I've been reading a lot. Oh, go on, girl. I've been reading a lot of like property books, Rich mm-hmm. Dad, Poor Dad. Oh mm-hmm. my God, I was, rich in, mm-hmm. I was reading Rich Dad, Poor Dad on my way to work the other day. I'm like, what who, who I, are you? What am I doing? You're still going to work here? Yeah? Well, I've actually quit my job. Okay, we'll talk about that, but that's quite lit, I must say. I've quit my permanent job, that out of the way. That's quite a big deal, no? No, it was a big deal for me. That is a huge deal, really. I've been a nurse for 10 years. I've still got my pin, I've, mm. I've still got my registration. You can go back to it if you ever needed to. Well, I can do like ad hoc shifts yeah. but the like being in a contracted nine to five yeah i've quit that my g i've quit that i don't know i had a it, it took me about a month to do it mm. and when i did it i was like i felt this weight off my shoulder yeah i don't think it was really your, your call then anyway nah nah you got what you could out of that really i think yeah 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 i just we'll talk about that in more detail yeah, as, we, as we go through it yeah that's, yeah that's exciting yeah yeah that's just going to give you more time yeah. to then improve on this I could do, yeah which is going to make you more money and there's exactly. no ceiling on this exactly yeah exactly whereas the nurse thing is a ceiling do you know there? what pissed me off was i spoke to my manager mm. and he told me that because i got paid like 5k by accident mm-hmm. how does that happen by accident i remember you telling me actually yeah they paid me like 5k by accident mm-hmm. and i saw it and thought what the hell like what's going what do on what i do here yeah so i called the manager i'm like hey i've been paid 5k i normally get about three mm. so he goes oh that's close to what i hear what that's mad i'm aspiring to be you yeah and you earn the 5k 5k 60k a year a month that take home it is take home or is it before which, tax no it's take home however now some would consider that good pay now i guess it is good good pay however yeah. the way i saw it was i was getting into rent mm-hmm. i had a good first month that time i just started rent to rent i remember and I had an amazing before first I went month. To St. Vincent. yeah i was really quiet about it because everyone was like oh i'm not getting no bookings it's low season because it was, was january yeah, yeah, and i was like, getting all the bookings yeah i remember and my profit that month was about 1k mm-hmm. and and i just thought 10 of these and I'm i would already. make 10k yeah and i don't have to work at 12 o'clock at night no. i don't have to respond to emails no. i don't have the stress of, i was just calculating everything he does that i yeah. wouldn't have to do yeah the most annoying thing i'll probably have to deal with is you know guess and like after that i mm. shot off i was mm. like nah this is not well you've got to figure out what works best for you isn't it yeah so In my life. my mindset now is uh if i do work mm. it's just to get capital to put into something is to get as much capital as I can. Mm. I got offered this job. It was paying like four k a month. I'm considering it doing considering doing it for like a short time. Yeah, yeah. Because income I, in the end of the day, I can work from home. Okay. I don't. I only need to say hello to five people a day. Mine on the phone. Like I, I don't deal. have to do much. You yeah, still be able to do your business as well in the I'll background. Still be able to do my business. Yeah, that ain't the worst idea then. I just want to gather as much capital as I can. <laughs> yeah, you're that's, focused right now. No, still. no, no. That's my plan. Get as much. I was even considering doing some crazy stuff. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> you got to do you got to do at the end of the day. But... Legal, legal. All okay, legal. yeah, listen. No, no all judgment legal. here. No judgment here <laughs> no, at all. All legal, all legal. <laughs> I just need as much capital and then I'm off. Yeah, because you know what to do with it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially if you've been reading Rich Dad, Poor Dad and you're I've starting to understand I've been reading Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I've been reading Rob Dick. Yeah, yeah. Rob Dick, Sky Dawn, um, Property Investing. Um, what am I reading now? Think Rich. Think and Grow Rich. Think and Grow Rich. Napoleon Hill. Yeah. I'm reading that at the moment. Well, Is rereading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm reading that. That's a good book. Yeah. Because like the mind of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, um, that's good. My focus is... You seem very focused. I Every know, time I see you, you're focused, but... I need... I know what I want now. But what I really want to get into is, um, you know, I've always said it. Yeah. VR. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, don't worry, that's next. That's where my mind That's at. next for you. That makes perfect sense because obviously you've had great practice. You're already a homeowner anyway. Yeah, so you yeah, understand yeah, how yeah. that works. But it's a good way to keep the capital moving, isn't it? Mm. And use the same pot of money. Yeah, exactly. My only hesitation with it at the moment, I've done a couple of them, yeah. but it was at a different time when like materials and, and labor wasn't as much as it was now. Yeah. So at the moment, I think it's just where the rates are quite high, high at the moment. Yeah. and we don't know what's going to happen in six months eight months mm-hmm. it's just a little bit scary to buy something for cash do it up and then hope that it's worth so yeah, much more if things may yeah yeah and yeah. and the way i worked it out was it might be worth you might be able to end up pulling 10 15 grand out where i invest mm-hmm, mm-hmm. or leaving leaving 10 15 grand in the house yeah, yeah, yeah but really it's the same price for me to buy like a 100 grand house
house and put yeah. 20 in from the beginning yeah. you know what I mean without going through any of the hassle mm -hmm. of renovating it builders yeah I think there's just a lot of stress. uncertainty right now yeah but it definitely works like there's yeah. like millions and millions of landlords who've built their portfolio using that exact strategy mm -hmm. so 100% works yeah just getting the capital together and if you are okay with leaving more in than you may have expected mm -hmm. then that's fine yeah because I've seen what, what people are doing now is um, because of the high interest rates kind of yeah. leaving it and then just Airbnb in it yeah 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 that yeah 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 that's what i mean that's what you do isn't it yeah leaving like, it and then just yeah, because the the income will pay you back. Yeah, you don't necessarily need to get the equity out. You exactly. can afford to leave it in. Yeah, but that's the thing. A lot of people, you know, they're working who want to get into property. They're coming with that initial pot of money, mm -hmm. and that's all they have. So it's like, what do they do with that? Mm -hmm. And that's why I always advise building the cash flow business first, definitely, and then going into like BRR or joint venturing, raising finance, and these types of things because there's just a little bit more risk involved with those things. Yeah, and a high, higher barrier to entry. Definitely, because you need you need the capital. You need the capital yeah even if you're going in, in my area you need 60 70 down to buy a fixer yeah. upper yeah then you need 20 25k 30k to do it up yeah, yeah, yeah. so you need about 100 really mm -hmm. you still only need about 70 80 grand but obviously prices have gone yeah. up yeah and then obviously bridging yeah you can use, you bridging, use bridging but that comes with its own risk that comes with its own risk as yeah. well if you're not good with money then yeah. obviously that's a bit do you know one percent a month i mean it's not the worst idea but you need to know what you're doing and you need mm. to have like realistic deadlines of when like yeah it's going to be finished by but yeah man that's that's kind of where my mind's at yeah no it seems like you're in a good place like you know rinse and repeat yeah and if something's working eventually get it into your arm yeah no I think that's a solid step so if we just did a timeline then yeah you might remember better than me but when you first come on the course yeah and then we'll just slide through that yeah quickly and then we'll get on to where you're at now yeah okay so was it July was it July I think it was July it might have been July it was yes it was 20, it was July 22 yes so last year yeah so we're, not, we're about a year in if that. Almost. And when you first decided you want to do rent to rent. Yeah. So July 2022 is when you decided you want to get into yeah. rent to rent. Yeah, so I did the I'm course. course. Um, I remember us going back and forth on the phone and that. Yeah. For a couple months. Yeah. He was going on viewings quite quickly. Yeah. You're one of these people that seems to take action quite quickly. Just get on with it. Yeah, like I have different mentees. Some people are still doing the course. Yeah. From then. From that time. Yeah, some really? people did like two modules, three modules, and then they're like, oh, something's happened in my life and oh. I want to pick it back up and start like, hey, oh, no, that no. wasn't you no because remember if I hadn't done my assignment I, in my head it was an assignment mm -hmm. but I hadn't I didn't want to speak to you because you wanted to one what are we going to talk about two I rate, I rate that I would feel like shit yeah 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 you wanted to have some things because done. you're going to ask me for an update and I'm just going to sit there and say oh nothing's happened mm -hmm. that can't be me I can't, no. nothing can't not happen yeah I something have to has to happen some happen. progress yeah something has to have happened so I wouldn't yeah, want to have a, my call and like because even with my friends like when we have accountability Calls, yeah, or accountability meetings. Yeah, like, you haven't done what you said you're gonna do. Why? Obviously, it's something you happen in your life. And yeah, like, things do happen, but often people get a bit confused with where they want to be, and their actions don't match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that can't be me. I just have to do it. And if you, for me, if you've made up your mind that like, you want to do something mm -hmm. and you're serious about it, yeah, you're gonna do it. Yeah, for by sure. All means necessary. Yeah. And remember, my drive at the time was was the fact that I was on maternity leave. That's right. And they said I couldn't come back to work because I didn't want to take the injection that's right so I had to because had come choice. November my maternity was meant to end around November December mm -hmm. I remember now I had to make sure that I would have the option to not go to work yeah. if they said you need to have that injection because I wasn't going to have no you didn't feel comfortable with I it I wasn't going to so no. if they turned around to me and said Esther you can't work anymore I needed to be able to say see you later see ya I'm, yeah. I'm doing something yeah, else yeah so you had serious motivation no 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 I, I had to it was like yeah. do you know what I mean yeah. like, if that's I, the mindset though that's yeah. what you have to have to achieve yeah so it was all or nothing it wasn't an option it was like no, I'm no. going to make this work it had worked for you, for you so a few viewings you was going on I remember when you phoned me and said oh I've got Deal, yeah, I had it. quite a few. Do you know what? For me, I think I initially had an unrealistic um, timeline view, view. Well, an unrealistic view of what um, rent to rent mm -hmm. entailed, mm -hmm. if you like, because I got my first and second view like, really quickly. Yeah, yeah. You know, I was seeing online, oh, you know, you have to be made yeah. to do that, yeah. or you get a lot of rejection, yeah. which I did get. Yeah. But I think within my first week, I got a deal. Yeah. Then the second week, I got a deal. However, they weren't good deals. Yes. 
to that's the thing. saying that's the thing you had the green light from the landlord or the, the green, agent yeah but it wasn't quite the right fit for you. yeah he 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 was mentioning like loads of other stuff he was mentioning increasing the rent he was making he, yeah. he was saying that because then i was looking at his rent yeah he was saying i can't have females in there no i had to have oh, a certain goodness. ethnicity yeah i remember i remember yeah, he, yeah i had to have a certain ethnicity then i had to have i was restricted to only females females i've kind of seen that so i just thought okay mm. i'll make that work yeah you I can, can make it work friends yeah there. yeah but then when he restricted it to ethnicity it's like oh, no this ain't even a person that i want to do business with really. do you know what i mean yeah, yeah. so we just went gelling no. we just went gelling so you decided to not go with those, with those ones then do you know what do you know what it is it's when you're so close to reaching your first deal. You just want it. You just want it. You just want to <laughs> grab it. Like you're, mm. you're, you're. It's a bit risky because you're. You run the risk of taking bad deals. Yeah, and I've heard that a lot. I've heard people take bad deals just because they want it. Yeah, yeah. So I was tempted to just. I've done that. Yeah, I was tempted because he was literally offering it. To yeah, play. yeah. I think people get so surprised when that happens that sometimes they just go for it. Just go and for then it. You have to sort of think like, why is someone so keen to yeah. get rid of this? Yeah. Or give it to me. So I was tempted to just do it, and mm. then there was just something in me that was just but I don't know. And then I think I spoke to you. Yeah. And he was like, well, if you don't know, then I think you've got your answers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just kind of sat with that and just thought, I'm, I'm really eager to get a first deal. But mm-hmm. if I'm a bit apprehensive about it mm-hmm. because of, like, you know, maybe not. So I left that one. And I'm yeah. glad I did in hindsight because yes. it was just a nightmare. And then his auntie lived downstairs. Yeah, it just wouldn't have worked. It's just, it You're was trying just, to run a business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you get auntie knocking on the Yeah, wouldn't it? It's just... <laughs> wouldn't have made sense. Your reviews might have been a bit... Yeah. Colourful. Exactly. So, yeah, I, I left that one. Then I got mm-hmm. another deal. Oh, I don't remember the circumstances around that one. But it was no good as well. Yeah. It was no good. It wasn't the right fit. It wasn't the right fit. I really don't remember the circumstances. And after that, because I got those deals really quick after... Yeah, I remember. Calls, yeah, yeah. And then there was this period of silence where I felt like I was like... So this is like December time, isn't it? Yeah. Coming into Christmas, around them times. Was it December? Or maybe early January. No, it would have been before December. It would have been before December. It would have been before December because yeah. I, I got my deal in December. In December, I remember, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So this was like November time. Well, so there was like a period of silence. Mm-hmm. I felt like I was messaging, messaging. And getting nothing back. And getting nothing. I know that feeling. Like, <laughs> what was going on sort of thing. Mm-hmm. But I just carried on. I just carried on what I was doing. Yeah. I think I did have a week where I was sulking and I, I refused to touch the laptop. For like yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had many weeks like that. <laughs> yeah. After that, I was like, what the hell are you doing? Get mm. back on it. Get back on the horse. Get making the calls again. Yeah. Start emailing people. Yeah. And then, like, in my head, I have, like, um, you know, like, maybe, like, friends that I'm, like, further, further on in their journey yeah, yeah, than yeah. myself. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, okay, what would they do in this yeah, situation? Yeah. So then I came across, I came across um, this deal, the one I, mm-hmm. the first one. Mm-hmm. The first deal? Yeah, the first one. Spend the situation. This is what I'm doing. But, yeah. He took a liking to you, didn't he, that one? Yeah. Because he had options. Yeah. He rented it to other people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he chose you. And then I just kind of went with it. Viewed it the first time, viewed mm-hmm. it the second time. Mm-hmm. I actually didn't have the capital. This is it, yeah. Very interesting yeah, story. People I did, love this one. I didn't have the capital at the time. So I had, uh, I think I had like first month's deposit, but you've got to pay. I had two to pay months two. up front and you need money for furniture. Exactly. I, 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 just, I remember trying to sell the deal to someone else. Mm-hmm. And the person I tried to sell the deal to mm-hmm. then was like, oh, do you know what, Esther? I've got someone who, who wants it, but he changed his mind. He wants to live in it. Oh, really? Yeah. It ain't going to work. I didn't say anything. I just mm. left it. Mm. And I thought, well, that's a waste of an investment, then, isn't it? Well, yeah. Massively. That's a, that's a waste of an investment opportunity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can't make money here, guys. This is potentially, you know, like a good deal. Right? Ten grand a year. And then you're that's how I look at them. Yeah. Eight, ten grand a year, at least. And then you're going to get with someone who's going to... It's a waste of an investment opportunity. Mm. It turned out. He didn't actually want me live in it. Okay. He just wanted to take it off me. And do, and you do exactly do. what I was going to oh, do. Oh, good. Okay, well. So I was like, hmm. I should keep this one. Yeah. Not selling it on. So the journey started. So that deal's been making you decent money. About a grand each month. Mm-hmm. In profit. In profit. Which is crazy. Yeah. Considering you only put in five altogether. Uh, four. I put four. four in. 
yeah. before going in to get back a grand a month. Um, I did have a bit of a setback though. Mm -hmm. That's good. We'll talk about that. Where my profit was kind of eating into it. Mm -hmm. Where the, the essay got burgled. Mm -hmm. So this was only three months in. Tell me about this now because this is fresh. Only three months in. So this is what, March? This March. is when I'm in, this, in the Caribbean on the beach. Yeah. So I'm burgling your essay. Three months into my new Business project. Venture. Yeah. Yeah. I had a terrible guess. Mm -hmm. It was causing a lot of havoc. Mm -hmm. Causing a lot of havoc. Mm -hmm. So they stayed previously. Well, so they booked. Mm -hmm. I'll never forget. It was on a Sunday. Mm -hmm. Booked on a Sunday. Stayed till Sunday. Mm -hmm. It was a whole week. Um, about Wednesday, I'd got a call. Oh, do you know your guests? They brought dogs. Two large dogs, and it's you know defecating in the community. Yeah, it doesn't blah, work blah, out. Blah blah blah. Initially, I didn't mind pets. However, no. you had to let me know, and I'll, yeah. I'll try to pet feed. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's standard. So he didn't say that he had pets. No, two dogs. He didn't want to pay the And he didn't want to pay the pet. Yeah. Now the issue here is not only did he breach that, he's letting them defecate in a communal area. That's not right. Now that's pissed off of a tenant. Of course. Because you know that's yeah. Great. So it's a block of flat, but the the gardens are communal. Yeah. Well, not gardens, like the entrance. To yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Yeah, you've seen. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's obviously ticked off on them. Yeah, it's not acceptable, really. You, exactly. So anyway, I said that if he leaves on Wednesday. Um, I'm happy to give him, I'm happy to refund him the rest of the days because he had to stay on Sunday. Yeah. But no, he doesn't want to, he doesn't, he wants a full refund, mm -hmm. but he still wants to stay till Sunday. Okay, so he just wants everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I was like, no, that, that's not going to work. Mm -hmm. If you leave tonight, mm -hmm. you get your refund for the full day. Yeah, yeah. I'm in control here, not you, sir. Yeah. And he was like, no. Then he was threatening me. Oh, well, I'm going to get my lawyer involved. I'm going to do this and I'm going to do All right, mate. I was like, okay. Yeah, that's Over this. All right, mate. Over the then he then had I did I did a bit of a post. Um, <laughs> he then had a massive altercation with the guy who was unhappy about his okay. Yeah, well, that's gonna happen. Um, he then used like really bad words. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you later. Yeah, but yeah, called him names. It all went off. It really kicked off. Yeah. Um, he sent me a video of them going back and forth, back and forth. Right. Nice. Ah, now he's got something to complain about. This is unacceptable. I'm a guest in this building. Yeah. Why should I be called this and that and X, Y, Z, blah, mm -hmm. blah, blah. I said, mm -hmm. look, I've told you. I will, I gave him another option. If mm -hmm. you don't want to leave, I can place you somewhere else. Yeah, okay, fair. He refused. Right. I'm not scared of him. Who does he think he is? Blah, now blah, you're blah, telling blah. like, yeah. daddy daycare. Long story short, he left on the Sunday, as he said he would. Mm. I damaged myself. I put a hole through my sofa. Uh, but nothing, nothing, nothing was stolen. Actually, he took some beddings and some. I remember this guy. Yeah, he took some beddings and some, you when know. Were you telling me this? Yeah. What happened? You know, I remember some, saying, that's really strange. Some towels, like silly things. He took some towels <laughs> and some beddings and stuff. Um, and I just thought, okay, well, cool. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. See you later. TV's here. Yeah. Uh, at least everything else is here. Yeah. yeah. That took you through from when you've gone through start of the year, got your deal, bit of adversity. Yeah. Rolled that really knocks me a little bit, you know. Yeah. It really rocks me a bit. No, it would do because that was probably the first big bit of adversity that you've had within the business within once the you've business. already got started. Yeah. Because I was actually ready to scale them. Yeah. I was ready to um, get a new one. I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I've done. This is doing well, making money. Yeah. So I was like, okay, March, like, what are you doing? Like, yeah. Why don't you have another one? To yeah, bring? yeah. It's been January. Yeah. Hello. Let's go. Let's, let's go. go. Like, what's yeah. going on, sort of thing? Yeah. And then, boom, that happens. Oh, it's just a bit of a nightmare. So, bit of a knockback. Yeah. So I was sulking for a little bit. Be grateful for him, Tim. Shout out to Tim. Shout out to him. Yeah, he um he was checking on me every day because mm -hmm. he he could tell that I was really Stressed. the thing is I was bugged down by it, mm -hmm. but I wasn't letting it stop what I need to be doing. No, you can never let it do that. Do you know what I mean? So I was still pissed off. Though. I was still kind of reluctantly going on viewings. Yeah. Um, reluctantly doing everything, but really annoyed. Yes. So just being annoyed but doing it anyway. Do then, so that takes us through to March, April, and then you get your next second rent event bill. Yeah. Around that sort of time. Uh, yeah, yeah, actually. Yeah. You want to tell us about that one then? Yeah, so that was quite plain sailing, that one. <laughs> yeah, that was like, it was all right. I, yeah. I felt like I didn't really have to work much for that That's one. how it goes sometimes. Yeah. You put loads of effort into the first one. 
Yeah, I didn't really have to one. do much because mm-hmm. it was pretty much furniture. It was in good already. condition. It was, it was in decent condition. Okay. Probably just a sofa, just that I needed to change, but yeah. I didn't have to do too much. Cool. And it's direct to landlord? Direct to landlord. And you gave him your pitch over the phone or yeah. an email? Um, initially, it was over the phone. I guess it's hit and miss with that because sometimes you want to meet the landlord and then kind of... Whatever seals the deal, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. In this case, it was over the phone. Yeah, strong. And he was like, oh, that's fine. Um, viewed it. I like it. Yeah. And yeah, put the pot down the same day. Awesome. So he understood exactly what you were trying to yeah, do from yeah, the beginning. Yeah. There was no resistance. No. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's pretty much smooth. Yeah. Very smooth. Is it a flat or... Like um, a, it's similar to this, actually. This little contained thing. Yeah. Like a bed stick. Yeah. Flat. But it's a bit... It's much bigger than this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it has like a living room area. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of... It's kind of separated, but in one room. I know the ones. So, yeah. I know the ones. Um, <clears throat> they work well for SA, those types of units. Yeah, like couples. Sharers, professionals, yeah, yeah, yeah. work people. Just message the landlord, tell him what I'm doing. He was like, yeah, that's fine. Same area? No, actually. Okay, that's different area. Kent. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that was Spreading deliberate. your wings a bit. Yeah, that was deliberate because this one, my first one's really close to me. Mm-hmm. So I find myself... Being in the business. Yeah. Because you're a control freak. Being in, in your, the business. In your... like, like, say I'm driving past and I'm like, oh, let me just see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me just see what the cleaners do. It gets doing. like that, though. Especially which on your is, first one. Yeah, I mean, which is not bad. It's not you a know, bad to thing. To do spot checks. It's not a bad thing. Yeah. But you want to grow. I want to grow. So. And I felt like I was just doing too much. Like, say, like, there's, I don't know, there's not enough tissue or something. Well, you'll go and clean yourself or top up the goods and things like that yourself. Yeah. yeah. Uh, or, like, uh, do you know, like, say it was a one... I don't, I don't know how one day's, but I don't know how one time something slipped through the cracks and that someone yeah, yeah. managed to book. Oh, how did this person? Yeah, yeah that's manage? happened to us a couple of times. So, how did he manage to book one night? But he did anyway. So, mm. like, oh, it's just one night. Oh, I'm mm. only down the road. Yeah. Doing anything to one. Oh, I'll just go. So, that one's about an hour away from me. Yeah. So, I did that deliberately just so it forces me mm-hmm. to think outside the box mm-hmm. when something needs to be done. Mm-hmm. Rather than, oh, I'll just pop down. Yeah. No, I think that's a good down. way of, of thinking about it because even though the first one's close to you and, yeah, it can be comfortable knowing that, okay, I can go yeah. and fix things if need be, yeah. ultimately your goal is to build like a commercially profitable exactly. enterprise exactly. that works without you being, being in, in yeah. yeah. So that, for me, that was like a challenge for me. Mm-hmm. That was, okay, this one, have it further away from you mm-hmm. and that's going to, help you to think outside the box when something needs to be mm-hmm. done. Correct. So, and that's what I've been doing. Yeah. Um, and you know what? I've got the most amazing cleaner. Sick. Honestly, I just pay her a few extra beers. How'd you find her? On Turner. Really? Yeah. You offered a job on there and... Then... Well, how about it's on Turner? Post your job. Post your job. And then we'll bid yeah. to go on. Yeah. Get it? So she bidded and ever since she's been going in, mm-hmm. she sends me pictures after. Mm-hmm. I did go down to kind of like look at it live, like what, what she's doing. I was around the air doing viewings, mm-hmm. so I just put my head in. Yeah, oh, she's really do. good. She's really good. Mm-hmm. Um, but besides doing the cleaning, mm-hmm. like the other day, I had guests in there. They were really hot. They needed a fan. Yeah. Obviously, it's getting summer. Yeah, yeah. It's like, don't mind like, getting me a fan, do you? <laughs> she's like, I'm in curries at the moment. Oh, so perfect. Yeah, I was like, perfect. perfect. Yeah, yeah. Send me the invoice and I'll see her. Can... Keep hold of her, honestly. If you can, I will. Then I called her the other day because she was like, "I need some extra bedding." Yeah. And then I was like, "Oh, do you know when are you doing your next shop?" Because I try not to get her to like go out. Yeah. Of her way. Yeah, but yeah, if she yeah. She needs it, then I'll just. Yeah, that's her. the same what we do with as well. Yes, yeah, so I was like, "When are you when are you doing your next family shopping?" Mm. She's like, "I'm, I'm going Morrison's tonight." Can you grab me some bedding? Yeah. She's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll grab me some bedding. I'm Love going it. up that way tomorrow. Yeah. Honestly, it's not above us. Like, <laughs> Legend. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. See, there are good people out there. I'm keeping her. And I'll just add like a little extra 20 quid. Yeah, that's what I do. Reward yeah. good people. If they're doing a good job and they're yeah. allowing you to sit at the helm Literally. and market and sell Literally. and find more deals, take the money, bro. Honestly. Like, like, just give her a little extra like, yeah. 20 quid or something. Yeah, petrol. 
she's happy to do you it. need to incentivize good people to do yeah. a good job for you especially so if they're she's, like she's keeping her yeah honestly. you better find another one around it definitely that's, that's the way i see it because now in your mind you're thinking like i can literally look at deals from yeah. where i am on my yeah. laptop in kent in kent yeah and i can literally negotiate and she, on she well, she's just... in that area she can just start yeah, yeah yeah so i was up there the other day looking for other deals mm-hmm. i'm hunting around the area i find this is i think i don't know if everyone else but <laughs> it's good to have a few in the same area definitely because what i'm finding is i'm trying to get another one around here as well because mm-hmm. i get sometimes there was this lady she was a long-term one actually mm-hmm. she used to book like week by week by yeah, week. yeah yeah i didn't know why she had two little kids yeah i never understood why she was booking but i mean i'm not complaining yeah, but yeah. in my head i do think how are you doing this why are you doing this why yeah because they go to school as well right? so they need some sort of be set with something it, it wasn't think. that I, first i thought she was from abroad mm-hmm. but then way. i see from the camera that they're wearing school uniforms right? okay anyway, interesting anyway she reminds me a little bit like me of me because her, <laughs> her little ones are like your, your ones are my age as yeah. well look at her she's a bit like me yeah, yeah. anyway Action, um, what she tends to do is she books for about a week yeah in my head I know she's going to book longer by the time Sunday comes mm. she's like, oh, can I book again mm. someone's already booked it because you're running a business right so you can't I really can't just waiting. keep it because yeah. she might not yeah there's been days where she doesn't yes okay. so you have to actually book it otherwise yeah 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 so then someone's gone on like booking up from a neighbor. Of course. And then she's like, oh, I want to stay longer. I'm like, well, it doesn't really work like you, that. You know, it doesn't work like that. Oh, I need three extra days. So surprisingly, I thought she would just book the week somewhere else. Mm-hmm. If you book somewhere else for like a day or two, mm-hmm. you're going to have to uproot yourself and come back. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly what she did. She literally stayed somewhere for two days. And she came back. And came back. Came back home. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> basically. <laughs> basically, I just thought, I, I don't know what's going on, but anyway. Whatever. Yeah. Business is business. So I find that if you have a few in the same area, mm-hmm. it's easy to just move people Definitely. around. Definitely. So... In that case, I've been getting a lot of those. I've been yeah. getting a lot of, I want to extend my booking mm-hmm. or someone else has booked. Mm-hmm. And if you don't have one in St. Mary's, well, you can yeah, booking. Whereas if you sure. do, that property is not available. However, for this one. you can stay here. Yeah, 100%. That's what, that's what you want to be aiming for. Yeah. It creates an economy of scale is the yeah, term yeah, yeah, people yeah. use. Yeah. Having it all in one place. Yeah. You make more money. Your operational costs go down mm-hmm. because, say, for example, your cleaner is now getting paid to do two houses. Yeah, money you're giving out for expenses mm-hmm. is now being spread across two properties. Exactly. So on. So that's kind of what I'm learning. I'm like, yeah. oh, why? And yeah. then I had one guy. He was like, oh, have you got more of these? There's fifteen of us. Yeah, they're the ones. Like, oh my god. They're the ones. They're the ones. There's fifteen of us, and we need it for six months. Yeah, yeah. Wow. scratching your head, thinking, you see them? They get at that. Those ones just give me like the fire because I'm like, okay, yeah. next day I'm like calling around. Like, that's what I was doing. I've got 15 people <laughs> Literally, that's what I was doing. I don't know. Around here, it's been a bit more challenging. Yeah. I don't know what oh, this it is. is there's a lot of people around here. Um, yeah, he's like, oh, we need, we need it for six months and it's 15 of us. Oh, oh my God. Perfect. Like I contractors, was, basically. Yeah, yeah. I was my literally favorite. on the phone to landlords like every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need this. That's now. what you've got to do. That's what you have to do. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm just doing more of the same. Yeah. Um, Looking to go where you can. If it's Kent, so be it. If it's around here, so yeah. be it. I, and I'm trying not to play it safe, no more. I feel like I've been playing it safe. In what way? So, I've been, obviously, because when I started, I'm like, oh, my God, I don't know if this is going to work. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I'm going to make money. Mm-hmm. All of that. So, you know yeah. what? Let's keep it small. Yeah, yeah, Let's yeah. Let's go for the one bed. Let's go for the studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the end of the day, I have to pay a grant to the landlord and nobody books. I don't know if you remember, I was like, yeah, have you ever had a mop when nobody books? Yeah, you did ask me that. Yeah, he was like, no, that doesn't happen. That doesn't happen. No. Really? How? Yeah. So, obviously, you have to be doing something terribly wrong. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that now. Well, yeah, exactly. So I feel like I've been playing it safe. Mm-hmm. Playing it safe in a sense where, like... Small units. Small units, just because at the back of my mind... If I, I mess up. And it doesn't work. I'm not a grand is so much in debt. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Whereas yeah. if I went, if I went like, oh, like ten bed, ten bed, and go tits up. Yeah. So now you know it works. You're gonna start playing it a little bit. Playing more it, yeah. Bigger. So that's kind of. So I was doing? I was having an honest conversation with myself the other day. Mm-hmm. Like you know, re reevaluating, and also I'm reading these books and like. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're challenging. Me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're in a good place right now. Do you know what I mean? 100%. Like they're challenging. I'm like, shit, that's you. Yeah. Because basically, some of those books they 
raise the ceiling in your mind so then they allow you to think bigger yeah basically. yeah yeah. and it's the same process that you go through sitting on a one bed as it would be like a five bed yeah negotiate with the landlord same you still have thing. to go and view it yeah. you have to furnish it all right your furniture cost might be a bit more yeah a few more rooms yeah but then on the back end of that you potentially can make more money yeah, yeah. You can get more people exactly in. so that's kind of where i'm at at the moment mm-hmm. Stop playing it safe. Yeah, no, that's awesome. Although that is probably the best way to start, isn't it? Playing it safe. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of what I thought. Oh, do you know, it's a new business. New you're a year in now when you I've... bought the course and started learning about rent to rent. Exactly. You've got yeah. two deals that are doing well for you. I think that's a good time to start thinking about units, so, bigger properties, etc. Definitely. Definitely. No, I like that. So, what, we're going to start looking at some HMOs or just two or three um, houses? Or... To be honest, you know, I don't mind. Does... Um, diversifying mm. I'm just kind of getting my hands on what I can so I did I was looking at a, yeah. was it a, a eight beds okay it was an eight bed now it's and that's the one I was raising finance for okay remember. yeah I remember and over the bank holiday by the time I came back I think there was some sort of miscommunication because I could see mm. that it's been let Mm-hmm. But I was still going to try my luck anyway. Of course. The lady who I was speaking to was like, no, it's available. I'm just going to try my luck anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I came back on, I think it was a Tuesday. Mm-hmm. And I was like, it has been there. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay. So what I could see was, so that had gone. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Obviously, it's probably going to be a good deal. So it's likely to not yeah, hang no, around too long. Yeah, a good deal. Eight bed. Or how many good. bathrooms was in there? Three. Yeah, no, that would have been a good deal, you know. No, that was a good deal. I mean, it was going for a ridiculous price. Was it not in very good condition? or? No, it was quite quite nice really? well based on the pictures but it looked all right you could work with it 100 yeah. percent. those was, ones don't hang around long i was ready to grab that yeah i was ready to just yeah you'll get another one like that though yeah they come around in a few months yeah and, and it was the land was open to a corporate letter it was yeah perfect yeah yeah it's timing timing yeah someone obviously got there before mm, that's all right <laughs> yeah you find that hard to say isn't it? yeah 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 i know them ones it was well. a really good deal really yeah. good deal really good deal. but next time something like that comes up we're going to pounce on it 100 percent, 100 percent. yeah um, i'm just doing more the same um i do like the sa kind of model mm-hmm. it's a solid model i think that like, you can definitely float between the two so rent to rent service accommodation and rent to rent hmo they're mm-hmm. both great Mm-hmm. obviously HMO it's a limited stock that yeah, you're working yeah. with some of those landlords are a bit more savvy than your traditional landlord mm-hmm. so when you're negotiating with them sometimes they might manage it themselves so yeah. they might be a bit more clued up as yeah. to like how much they should be receiving rent wise and yeah, like that yeah but you know what I try not to what I've learned mm-hmm. is when I go on viewings mm. and a landlord says no mm. sometimes there's more you can actually get from a landlord yeah. besides you getting their deal sort yeah, of yeah, yeah so I've 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 come across landlords who like they've got like a massive mm-hmm. they do like developments yeah, yeah. XYZ and obviously that's something I'm interested in getting mm-hmm. into. I'm like, oh you know, like how like tell, you just me, talk like, to tell them. me your story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, how do you get into this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you do? That's very clever that you, you do. Know? That. Yeah. Because most so, people who work with emotion. So they get told no and it's like oh, yeah no I'm intrigued places, yeah. I'm intrigued I'm like you've got a beautiful place here yeah. like, what did you how do how are you affording this what other ones have you got yeah. how did you work your way up to get to this yeah, stage like, what else do you do like, get something from a situation like, like okay you, do, you, do you do something else like, yeah. what do you do, do, yeah, you do yeah. so we just get into a conversation yeah, yeah. it's like oh I like you Yeah. Oh, what do you do oh I'm a nurse and I do this yeah. and I do that that is the best way like, it's so underrated isn't it just having yeah, a conversation with yeah, people because like okay that deal might have not worked yeah. something else might come up yeah but you could actually learn something else besides Just the deal. That particular property, yeah, yeah, for sure. I think that's that's wisdom right there. It's, um, there's always something you can take from conversation. Yeah, definitely. Especially with like someone who's like really experienced. Yeah, it's about having that abundance mindset, isn't if it? If they and know, just... if, if you know, they know what they're doing. Yeah, ask questions. Yeah. And normally, people who've done okay in life, they're normally quite happy to talk about themselves. Yeah, <laughs> and how they've done yeah it. that's true. That's <laughs> so true. And I find that with that particular um, developer. With him, it, he just needs a bit of um, stroking. Yeah, yeah, ego stroking. Yeah, he yeah, it's a very that. underrated so like, oh, strategy. You know, you know, I'm not a difficult person to work with. You know, yeah. if we managed to build a rapport. Yeah, he called me. Okay. Three days after. Okay. Yeah, that shows you was on his mind. Yeah, he called me three days after, mm-hmm. and he was like, "Oh, I've got this unit, not too far from here." Mm-hmm. Um, it used to be a special needs okay. school thing. Okay. Um, and he's thinking of um putting supported living in there. Okay. Like kind of helping with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I've been kind of 
putting this, putting him in connect with because yeah, obviously yeah. I'm a nurse. Yeah, yeah. Background. Yeah, yeah. I know a few people. Contact networking. Contact networking. So yeah, I've been working on that as well. So um, do him a favor, need... and then potentially. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. Yeah, he, he did. He's called him a few times. I, know, I guess he's busy and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's good to be like that and to be constantly top of mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because people like that, they probably accumulated a decent amount of wealth. But the idea of Airbnb and that sort of fast moving business scares them. Yeah. So I they think... need someone mm. who knows how to do all of that mm. and that they trust. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if he can so become he that just, person. Yeah, he does strike me as someone who he needs to kind of build that trust. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's, that's human it's nature, isn't it? He's not going to, he's, he's not going to just hay away with like, no. He needs that. Yeah, and that's a human nature thing, isn't it? Yeah, you know, that's, that's probably there's other ways I think you could definitely be exploring as well. The fact that you could have a management company. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could be looking at single let stuff as well. I know it's yeah. not as attractive. Yeah. But you can get good tenant fine fees at the moment. Definitely. Under colour of estate agents. Mm -hmm. And it's going to seem like a walk in the park for mm -hmm. you. I've done that actually. Yeah. Yeah, I did that for a, uh, because it, uh, it was a landlord who, um, they, they said no. Well, okay. I thought, okay, fine. Well, I also have this. Um, so they were, it was short term though. Mm -hmm. That one didn't make sense to me because mm -hmm. they were traveling for like three months. Okay. Um, and they needed someone to stay for that duration of time, yeah. which was very hard. It's a very sort of small amount of time. So. Yeah. So I basically got someone um, and just charged a little fee, but I was trying to persuade them to just do Airbnb for that yeah. period of time because yeah. it's just not. Do you find them a three month tenant? Well, it was someone who. They had accommodation issues. Okay. Somewhere longer, I was like, yeah. okay, you can stay here yeah. for this period of time. Yeah, yeah. So you've got a few, uh, a few things going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A few potential things potentially happening in the future. Yeah. But for now, you've got two deals that are doing well. Um, and I just... Get into BRI now, that's your new thing. Well, not... Well, it's my... You know, Next we step. have... Yeah, we have long-term goals and short-term mm -hmm. goals. Mm -hmm. Short-term goals just to kind of like, carry on and get more deals. But mm -hmm. my long-term goal... No, yeah. that's, a good, that's a good goal to have. Obviously, that's going to be building more of your wealth. Yeah. This is more your cash flow pot. Yeah. The business side of things. Yeah. It's good to have both. Exactly. So you're already at home, aren't you? I went there the other day actually. Yeah. But, but then I was reading um, Rob Dix, and again, it challenges you. He's like, yeah. are you a landlord or are you an investor? Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe I shouldn't go there to cover that. Well, I mean, <laughs> those things are relevant to where you're at in your journey, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, to like, be fair, I think I'm, what did I say? Um, to be honest, I let them just get on with it, you know? Yeah, no, nah, you're. Really, you, as long as you pay your rent. As long as you pay your rent, you don't cause any issues. Yeah. Then you won't really hear from me. So I was driving past the floor, then just going back and like, see what's. Yeah. It's good that the way you're thinking, though, like you said it a few times, but definitely thinking about things as an investor rather than yeah, a yeah, yeah. Owner. Because the the goal is to just kind of be financially. Free. And I was reflecting, and when people say like financial freedom, mm -hmm. sometimes people just look at a number mm -hmm. and think, oh, I want to get to ten grand a month. I make ten grand a month, so I'm financially free. Mm -hmm. However, for me. Financially free doesn't just mean the money. Correct, yeah. It means I'm time, time rich as well. Because yeah. if I'm making 10 grand a month, I'm constantly having to... 50 hours a week working. Do you know what I mean? I don't consider that as being financially free. It's not financially free, no. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, I've got the money. Because then you have all the money, but you don't even have the time to spend the money. Well, it's pointless, isn't it? Yeah. You hear about this all the time, like people yeah. in corporate sort of jobs and they work their way up the ladder. Yeah, I was that. I was. Well, you were. Yeah, you were that. And it's, I think people look at me now and they think, what's wrong with you? Because when I came back to maternity, like, mm. they know me. I'm usually... I'm ready for the next, for the jobs. next yeah. position. I'm yeah. ready. I do a year. The same day I sit on that new chair, yeah. I'm like, okay, well done, Esther. What do you need to do? What's to next? What do yeah, you need you're to do? You're very results driven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lady, I must say. What do you need to do? What course do you need to do? My next supervision, I'm like, okay, what course do I need to do to mm -hmm. get the, the next promotion? What? Mm -hmm. I move up really quickly mm -hmm. and people say stuff like, oh, yeah, she's probably shagging this person. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's not that. I just know what to do. You're driven. And I know who to speak to. My strategy at the time, I say, was I would go. I, I saw a post about this the other day. Like, why would you go? go in, why would you go in, to an interview if you don't want the job? Yeah, yeah. that was my strategy. Yeah, I yeah. used to go to interviews, mm -hmm. not necessarily to get the job. Mm -hmm. I got it great. Bonus. But it was more to build a relationship. The person, the, the decision maker. Yeah. 
they're usually high-end people. Mm -hmm. They're usually, you know, top dogs. So they say, oh, sorry, unfortunately, you, you never got the job. I'm mm -hmm. like, okay, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Can you offer me mentorship? Yeah. Can I sit in your office? Please? Yeah. Can you show me how to budget? Okay. Can you show me how to do this? No one it. does that. No. But they're like, yeah, come along, come along. Yeah. They show me all the stuff yeah. that I need to know at mm -hmm. that level, which no one else does, mm -hmm. because no, that's not their level. They don't they aspire to know. Yeah. And the next promotion, I've got it because I've done... Necessary stuff. So they haven't. Been yeah. Interested in No. Career. No, you've got the entrepreneurial spirit. Yeah, yeah, I'm not doing that no more. So when I came back to it, they're like, oh, it's not more, guys. You know what? You guys can do it. I'm not doing it. Yeah, because here's the thing with earned income, there's a cap, isn't there? Yeah. And you get well, yeah, like a... yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's that's kind of what I was. I I'm <clears> so <throat> grateful for the maternity leave that I had mm -hmm. because had I not had maternity leave, my first maternity, I didn't even bloody take it. No way. Yeah, I had four months mm. dangled a promotion, and I took it. Yeah, I took the promotion. Well, they said I could work. Okay, no, so no. I was like, okay, that's why like having maternity and getting yeah, paid at the same bad. time, not too bad. Mm -hmm. So I took it. I'm glad I took the whole maternity for this one. Mm -hmm. Because it really allowed me to think outside the box of this chasing promotions. Although, I've always been someone who, even though I was chasing these promotions, mm -hmm. I would have invested it anyway. Yeah, yeah. I would have invested it anyway. Yeah. I think it just would have taken me longer because I yeah. would have been chasing the next one. Yeah, next that's how it goes. You start chasing one. the next, isn't it? But yeah. ultimately, you're, you're trying to get more money with the view of investing the money. Yeah, I've never been, oh, I'll just I'm just trying to have the money for like a great lifestyle. No, 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 no. No, I, I've always known that I don't want to work. I just didn't know what route yeah. to take. I feel like you're very clear on that now. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Very clear. It's just at the time, because that's why I probably yeah, yeah. gathered all that money. Yeah, yeah. Bought that one. Which was a very wise move, really. I was going to live in it, then I decided, actually, that's don't live in it. Well, it becomes a liability if you live in it, doesn't it? Yeah, don't live in it. Rent it out. Rent it out. Get an income. An income. Gather that. A good income, by the way, as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So gather all of that mm. and just do more of the same stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. That's what you need to do. Basically, money's a tool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you need to put it in the right places. Exactly. To make it exactly. in its most simple form. That's, that's yeah. the plan. So there were really shots that, like, this come back from maternity leave. It's different, man. Like, how come she don't want that? Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. Because I'm not dependent on it anymore. Nah. nah. Because you I've learned a new skill set that allows me to yeah. not rely on this anymore. Yeah, There's yeah. a big world out there. And I'm sending emails at 12 o'clock. I'm sending emails. And they still come up and tell you that you ain't doing enough. Like, nah. Yeah, you can't win. Go and be your own boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is not going to work. Make your own story. They're like, oh, Vesta, you know, don't quit your job. Your kids are going to grow, you know. <laughs> and then things are going to be like, don't worry, guys. Yes. You take the next yeah. day. I'm not interested. Yeah, most people don't think how we're talking now. And they yeah. think along the lines of like being an employee. No. Because it obviously comes from mainly in school and how we're taught from growing up and yeah, but I, can, and I, can, I can honestly say that was me although like I said I would have always invested it yeah but I was still in that program kind of, I was still into in that, thinking yeah like I said the same day I sit on that chair yeah I don't even let it marinate no I'm like okay well yes. done yeah. don't get too comfortable here yeah, yeah what do you need to do next yeah to get to the next level yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and ultimately you need to build a business and then you need to invest the money into assets and then you can live a life of yeah, 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 yeah. freedom true freedom yeah on your own time on exactly. your own terms exactly you know i was in the spa the other day mm. I had a guest checking in. He sent me a message. Mm. And I literally just sent him back a message. Put the phone down. Just went so done. <laughs> literally. Yeah. And I just yeah. put, Yeah, because that's the nature of the business. Yeah. Like, obviously, it's stressful setting it up. But once you have set it up, it's a house. Yeah. It's quite self-explanatory. Exactly. People come and they pay their rent. Well, minimum of it. Yeah. yeah. Get, get as much as I can. But do you know what I mean? Like, that's just fine. Yeah. I had a massage. <laughs> just sent me a message. So now you're working smart rather yeah. than hard. Yeah. Mm. And that that was like the one in Kent as well. Do you know what I mean? Like that's just I'm working but I'm okay with You're providing value in the marketplace through your business and then that allows you to have most of your time back. Exactly. You're starting to Yeah, starting to ease off. I do have my registration. Uh huh. <sighs> 
that part, I don't know. I mean, I, I still have my registration. I, I could pick up a few shares here and there mm-hmm. if I want to, but I'm I'm not in a permanent position no, anymore. No, no, which is um, pretty powerful. I think you're underplaying it, but most people probably the most common question I get all the time is, "How can I?" Yeah, leave you know my what? Job, I'll be honest. The nine to five, financial freedom. Yeah. Help me, please. You know, I get this every day. Yeah, I must be honest. It took me about a month to do it. Yeah. I kind of sat on it. It feels scary, right? <sighs> It kind of felt, because I've been qualified 10 years. Yeah, so it's all you've known for a while. It's all I know. It's all mm. I've known. I was at AA. Okay, I am. Yeah, so there was parts of me that, oh, look worked at you. all the way this. You've worked so hard. Mm. And now you're just going to throw it all away. X, Y, Z. I was like, actually. Not my calling. Nah. Do you know, I, I handed in my resignation. I gave the laptop on Monday. It was Monday. <laughs> with a smile. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I and I just felt this weight off my shoulder. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah, I, I didn't think they, they probably thought I wouldn't do it. Yeah, but um, and now you've got all that time back to really concentrate on yeah your own business yeah and your goals yeah. and living life in your own terms, which is yeah. the dream, which is where everyone wants to be, really. Yeah, doing a few nursing bits here. And yeah, there, I kind of do. Yeah, my own projects. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how long I'll do that for. To be yeah, um, but it's only some. Yeah, time. well, one more deal. Yeah, and essentially you're at that point where yeah, you get a really solid income then. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. So I'll do more than most. Mm. It's a good place to be, man. It's impressive. Yeah. I think about you only started last year learning mm-hmm. properly like intensely yeah and then six months into you getting your first deal yeah got another deal yeah. sometimes I go by um, when you started learning yeah or the date that I registered business yeah no that's not even when that's you started not, trading that's <laughs> not that <laughs> no, is not because nothing happens for nothing happened nothing happened. <laughs> nothing happened so really it is about six it's months about six months it you've done it ever months. so well I don't because think my, my first very very first booking yeah. was on the 31st of December yeah into January yeah that was my first book that is not long ago really is it yeah yeah so beginning of this year really. yeah but to have six months of work and to have two deals is pretty good going really I know it might not you yeah, might not yeah, think yeah. it but I need I'm like one deal a month or minimum minimum of one deal a month <laughs> I hear you I hear you That's but you want them to be the right deals remember yeah I guess quality so. over quantity yeah because to be fair I haven't stopped I've been like looking yeah yeah looking but some of them not the right like, fit yeah and sometimes what annoys me mm. is like sometimes I wish I could see the outside of the yeah, 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 yeah. Because they never list that on Open Ring or Sometimes, yeah, sometimes they don't. Mm. So, inside looks fabulous. I've wasted my time. It's a top tip, really, isn't it? Going like, trying to do Google Maps or something to see yeah, what's yeah, like outside. outside. Because you can never get a filter somewhere until you really see what it's like. Yeah, right? so I guess that's something I need to come and buy. So, then I get outside. Who would want to live here? This isn't, yeah. I've got to sell this. Yeah. This I mean, is a hard outside sell. Outside looks grabby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Inside looks immaculate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But outside See, I'd rather look inside look worse because then I know it's, I can Exactly, that. I know I can do something yeah. about that. Outside, more of a landlording. Yeah. If they don't want to spend any money. Yeah, it looks kind really of a terrible. It's 22, isn't it? Yeah. And it's an experience. Keyword. From the moment. From the Keyword moment. is an experience. Yeah, from the moment they booked and they've arrived. Yeah. You know, how they get their keys. You know that from the reviews as well. Like Definitely, you know. They it, want everything to be. Everything needs to be smooth. Smooth. Thing. Efficient. Yeah. Otherwise, you will get a nasty review. You will, you will, get, <laughs> you will get. Oh, gosh, I've had a few. Yeah, me too. Me too. Some, can't please everyone, can't though. Can't please everyone. I really can't I please everyone. I did a post about one that I got. There was somebody, apparently, mm. smoking cannabis outside. Okay. That's what nothing to do with me. No. I mean, someone was smoking cannabis outside. I mean, it's very common in London. I don't, yeah. Cannabis. And then, But then he left a review. Okay. And he was like, oh, you know, inside was immaculate. Inside was, was really nice. But there was smoke. There was someone smoking cannabis outside. I couldn't stay there. Okay. Yeah. Hasn't really stopped business, has it? No, no, no. no. But I learned a tip how to yeah? get reviews on share? Airbnb. <laughs> Gabby taught me actually. okay yeah sure that's yeah. Sure that one then and it is you basically you've got to read the policy okay you've got to read Airbnb's policy okay and if what they're saying doesn't match the policy then they're not li- liable then it can get removed okay. within an hour really time. yeah yeah Dami taught me that one mm. yeah shout out Dami shout out to Dami Dami to property him. lifestyle yeah. yeah 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 he, he taught me that one because um, basically if if it doesn't give a true reflection um, of what reflection of the actual property as it should be yeah. and your experience yeah why is it on not, there it's false on there. yeah because one someone was allegedly smoking cannabis he yeah. didn't see anyone didn't but see he didn't anyone. smell it yeah. um, the property he said was clean it was nice it was yeah. this and that however yeah. someone smoking cannabis outside which I didn't have control of no. it's been an hour it was gone awesome that can't affect the business now yeah 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 so I didn't know that prior to that so if your reviews don't match the policy for Airbnb get it removed get it removed that's a top tip now yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> I love you, please.
Yeah, getting, yeah. I'm looking at Brixton now, you know. Brixton's a good area. It's a really good area. Transport links. It's really expensive. Yeah. But wouldn't have a problem finding tenants oh, there. Man. So many people, yeah. It's more expensive, but again, mm. like, it works everywhere. It's like a risk, man. Yeah. Don't limit yourself. Yeah. If it's the right deal, the margins are clear, the yeah. landlord's good, the you get on with them, they're going to leave you to it, yeah. then it can work anywhere. Yeah. Obviously, the rents are so high in Brixton now. Yeah. It is. But then, equally, room rents are high. Exactly. So, if you could get it for a little small discount. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On a big, no, there big was, unit. there was, there was, there was a landlord who. Now I'm, I'm thinking. Oh, I don't know. Should I take an issue? No, mm. he was gonna offer to me on a plate. Yeah, um, it was a bit high. Okay. And the thing is, the margins were clear. Like, yeah, it yeah. could work. Yeah, yeah. But it was still tiny high. Tiny bit tight. Mm. Like if you, if you had a bad month, that's the thing. That wouldn't. I need the margins to be like a little bit of a buffer. Yeah, yeah. Like, even if you have a bit bad month, you're still making money. Making even if it's money. Only a few hundred pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think so, that's wise, no? I guess so. It is. I guess so. <laughs> sometimes is. I'm hard on myself. Sometimes. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes what we do is we try and make the deal worse than it is. Yeah. yeah. And you have to be aware that you've been in this a while now. So he was, know. he was, yeah. Well, I didn't take it. Okay. My well, gut wisdom. feeling, my gut feeling wasn't to take it. Yeah. So I turned it down. Okay. I turned it down. Good. Then I don't know, there's a bit inside of me. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I turned it down because he was cheeky, actually. Okay. Because the rent was actually quite low. Okay. Which is what attracted me to yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. The numbers, like, yeah. Like that. This is me. Mm -hmm. I like There's this room one. for me here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then he was like, "Oh yeah, well, I'm going to give it to you, but you know, because of what you're intending to do." Oh yeah, that's always the worst line. Yeah, when you hear that. You think, yeah. Oh, they're trying my pocket. Yeah, exactly. Who orders that, Mister? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, exactly. give me a little bit of a squeeze. Yeah. So he increased the rent by like three hundred pounds. Okay, I can ruin a spreadsheet. <laughs> my, my spreadsheet ruined it. Ruined it. Well, not ruined, but it was just tight. It's not it looking really as sexy tight. as it was. Yeah, mm -hmm. it wasn't looking as yeah. It was like, 350 350 okay, okay. 350 so almost 400 yeah um, so it's just a chunk yeah that can take you below 500 pocket versus yeah. being up in yeah the exactly because that's yeah. close to yeah 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 so i turned that one down yeah that, i would have had that last week actually oh is that recent no. yeah it was last week oh you're active i see you active hunting and that yeah, 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 yeah. that was last week that was last week that was okay. only last week okay. i turned that one down i've got some landers on it now i love that yeah hunting as always always just goes to show people you know they have a couple of deals but you still have to keep finding no, new have ones to, you, you have, have more to. in the pipeline you have to do you know what I, I did a post the other day mm. I was like oh both both properties are that full cool. but yeah. like, everyone applauded me yeah. and then Dami messages me I was like get to work yeah 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 yeah. Fair. you need yeah. more you need like, more yeah. yeah I do yeah 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 no it's good to recognise when you've done well yeah and when you do have that peace and quiet when they're booked and yeah, you feel like yeah, okay yeah. you bust your shoulder off a little bit yeah and then, then just you do get that back again. to work yeah get to work yeah, yeah. Get to work. because now you've got the proof of concept you've also got places that you show people testimonials mm, yeah so it should be easier for you to pitch now you should feel in yourself that you're better at explaining the service definitely, now definitely like a lot more confident definitely and if it's like second guessing yourself yeah and it's like no and then like I'll oh, explain this and like yeah that's fine I find that some landlords you literally have to pitch your life away. oh yeah you do yeah you do yeah you and do. then someone just really chilled and yeah. like, oh is that what you do yeah. oh, I've never heard of that but yeah that's sounds fine. good I'll yeah. go for it yeah.